So, I've already made this video before, and I, uh, I don't know, did something weird during editing and actually screwed it up, so we're doing it again. I've got a couple tools here, and I have my workspace, which is a little messy, but it's got a few strokes on it. It's a little messy from the previous videos that I, that I did when I messed it up, but that's okay. So, my paper here is what we call a colored ground. Uh, at least we call it that in art. Uh, maybe not in digital art, but that's what we call it in art, so you could refer to it that way, probably digital as well, because a lot of artists will know what you mean. But it's where you start with a piece of paper that is not bright white, instead it is a mid-tone like this. So you can work on top in a light color or in a dark color. And the three tools that I have here are an eraser, a piece of Conte, and a piece of charcoal. Charcoal has been used in art for like ever, like Leonardo da Vinci worked in charcoal and they would they would take sticks and they would burn them to make charcoal and draw with it because they didn't have pencils yet and they definitely didn't have pens. So charcoal is wonderful, it's great for making stark imagery with high contrast and everything. Conte crayons, I'm originally from Paris, from France, during one of the great wars, I think, I think the Napoleonic Wars actually, shortage due to the war. And so to make it go further, they mixed with like clay or other minerals to be able to keep making art. Uh, now we have them in different types, like normally, at the time I guess Conte probably would have just been black or gray, but now we can get it in white, black, uh, sanguine colors like browns and reds. They might have had some brown and red, they, actually they did have some brown and red, probably from the colors of the clay. And this is a magic rubber eraser. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's normal color is that but it's a little dirty because charcoal. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using. I didn't originally plan on making this video, but the reason I did was because as I was doing the other videos, I realized that the way that I make my monochrome digital paintings in Photoshop is very similar to how I actually work with charcoal. And this is probably my favorite medium when it comes to physical art. So I can draw with the edge to get a more controlled line and a darker line. I can draw with the side to get more of a a medium, not as dark, not as concentrated. It might look as dark to you on there, but it's not, I promise. I've got the Conte here, so I can draw some white on there, and of course I've got the eraser. So what I can also do is I can smudge these, well, to varying degrees. The Conte doesn't smudge very easily. Yeah, you can see a little bit on my finger, but it doesn't smudge very easily. The charcoal, on the other hand, smudges a lot, so I can do some stuff similar to what I was doing in Photoshop. I can also use the eraser to draw into these smudged areas, as well as pull out some color, lighten it. Doing that, if I erase all of it, this here in between is pretty close to the original color, but where I actually apply the charcoal directly, it's really hard, if impossible, to ever get it back to the original color. So that's just something to be aware of if you uh, work in Conte or charcoal, um, but we're not. The Conte here is erasing pretty easily, but it doesn't always, depending on what type of Conte it is, what color, as well as what color you're working on. So, uh, yeah, that's just, that'll just have to be there. Um, I'm going to work from a piece by Michelangelo. Uh, I'm specifically going to work on this piece. I've used this marvelous little uh, bookmark here, uh, a piece of found art. Someone sketched a little giraffe, isn't that cute? Uh, I found it in the book, so, you know. Um, this is a sculpture by Michelangelo, um, and it is the tomb of Lorenzo de' Medici. Well, here's the tomb. This is a detail of that sculpture. So I'm going to work from this. I don't like to do really complex things with charcoal unless I'm working really, really large because it's hard to get the details really, really accurate because of the size of the, of the tools, and uh, it's not really a fine point. Now, Sometimes I will work also with black Conte for sharper detail, and sometimes I'll even work, the, work with a charcoal pencil, and that can give me more accurate detail too if I want to do that, but I don't normally. All right. Nope, I'm going to ruin the book that way. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch every single second of this. Well, I mean, I am, but I'm going to speed it up. So, and then I'm going to talk over it as I work and explain sort of what I'm doing. 
So before I begin, I'm going to uh, just readjust sort of my workspace so I can see my subject matter and uh, work at the same time a little bit easier. So I'm just going to start by uh, kind of trying to find the lines, just a very a quick rough outline. Well, I guess not that quick. I am trying to get the lines right. You can see I'm kind of measuring a little bit. So just drawing the hand in here, and uh, it's not quite right, but it's a start, and I can work from there, and I can slowly improve it, slowly uh, look for those lines, add those lines as I, as I need them. Moving up to his uh, lion helm thing, just a quick outline, go ahead and add the rest of his arm now. And a little bit around it, this side. I'm mostly using the tip of my charcoal for the, well, sort of. I'm using sort of the, the side edge towards the front. Not the whole thing, because I don't want it to be super thick, but a little bit more than normal. Let's fix the handle a little bit, because it was a little bit off. And that's okay. It's okay to mess up and go back and readjust it. So it's holding some sort of a little cloth thing. draw down this uh, I don't know what it is and his shoulder pad armor stuff once again using sort of the edge the side edge of the charcoal now I'm going in and I'm sort of blocking in the dark areas just like I did in Photoshop using the side the full side to get a lot of coverage very quickly I'm not being super accurate. I'm I'm just trying to get the base down and I can readjust it later. Same thing for these lines, same thing. I'm just trying to get it down and I can adjust it later. Now that I have most of the outlines, I'll go back in and continue adding some of the detail. And uh let's get where you can see. There we go. Add in some of those dark areas. This one doesn't actually have as many dark areas as I expected. It's uh, a lot of high tones and mid tones, so just not that many dark areas to block in. Uh, the helm looks a little tricky, but uh, it's okay. It doesn't have to be exact. Just trying to do a, a quick rough sketch to give the feel for this. Just kind of move these in, mark these in nothing perfect, sort of uh, using this actually to sort of fill space and measure and find the right size as I go, find the lines as I go, and we'll continue in the next part.